Good everyone, Froggy Picker here. Uh, in today's videos, I have a log coming from Italy with this ICO R6. Uh, and this also will be my entry to PH Picker 100 subscriber. And uh, you should go and check his channel. I will put a link under, uh, under in the description. And he's in, well in its way to get 150 subscribers. So, um, here is the uh, ICO R6 with um, kind of a gigantic key um, to facilitate the gutting process. I did cut that um, cylinder and it's actually uh, doable because you have a stop uh, gap here. So uh, the key are really working well uh, even when cut. So anyway. Uh, I will put it in the vise and we'll try to pick it and gut it. I've not actually gut it before, so that will be the surprise to see what's inside. Okay, the lock is in the vise. Working beautifully. So I'm going to use a Z wrench on this notch on the right. Uh, tensioning it uh, anti-clockwise and I will pick it with a flat flag clockwise to provide some counter rotation. Uh, this log, the secret to this log is to have a medium high to a very high tension. Um, the click on each pin are very subtle. So you, so here I just set number two, number three is upset probably, number four maybe doesn't need any touch right now, number five, okay, five is a little bit, okay. 5 it was a little bit stiff, but here I have a full set going. So let's try to get number 6 here. And number 6 usually is... Yeah, 6 is difficult to get right now. So let me try to wedge my flag on the pin without losing the other pins. Okay, so I okay, I am on the pin right now, and okay, so I got number six, I think, and I got a deeper four set. So now let's go back to the beginning. One is set, two is set, three set, four. Four is giving me yeah, a little bit of counter rotation. So let's go on and try to set four. If I can put my flag on top of it. And here we are. So four was really, really deep. And so I needed to put my flag in between these two uh, warding to go really deep. Uh, but here it is, it's open. So let's go ahead and see what's inside of there. Uh, it's going to be a surprise because for me, because I've never opened it. Um, so you see not too much of a challenge as soon as you know that you need to use um, high tension. So let me just leave it there. To get, okay, here it is. So, I think the easiest way is to get it this way, and I will go ahead and where are the pins? Yeah, the pins are on that side, okay. So let me grab the driver from this side. That's going to be easier. Okay, well, you know what, just let's do it, yeah, it's 
so much easier. Okay, so let's see what's there. Number six is a normal pin. Five, three, two, one. Okay, so these are all normal pin. And the last one is also a normal. Okay. Let's go through the driver here. Number one is a spool. Okay, so the spool here did not come into play. Number two is a normal. Okay. Number three is a spool. Number four is a spool. Five is a normal. Six is a spool. Okay, and then that's it. And I will assume that, yeah. All the springs are the same, nice copper springs. So when I was speaking, the number four and the number six gave me some counter rotation. And the other one really did not uh, come into play. So nothing else specific oh there's actually that's kind of interesting there's like um, some scratch inside the cylinder that you can see but i don't think these are probably from pins or something like this and other than that um, the cylinder is or the plug sorry has nothing special no, nothing on the chamber. Okay, so uh, let me do a close-up. So this is, um, here we are. So this was the ISEO R6, um, six pin lock, very good for a beginner uh, lock, for dimple locks. Um, that's all for today. Remember the rule, only try this at home and leave any ferro locks to professional. Thank you. Bye.